You're back with City Life, and I'd like to welcome back to the program Dr. Rodney Ford. Now, I see you've brought some excellent props with you today, and I love props and chocolate biscuits. So, tell me what's this? <laughs> what's happening here? <laughs> this is the series Every Mouthful Matters, mm. and the question we're looking at today is Why am I dying of hunger? Mm. And I saw a boy, Timothy, not long ago, brought him with his mother. He's eight years old. He's a little bit chunky. Mm -hmm. And mother's worried that he's eating the wrong foods. But Timothy, at eight, he just wants to eat food. Mm. And so I wanted to explain why Timothy's hungry and what mum could do. OK, first of all, we should talk about why do we get hungry? Well, we get hungry because if we don't eat, we die. And our brain has to be full of glucose. If we get low in glucose, the body thinks it's going to die, so we're desperate to eat, and mm. we eat what's available. That's right. Now, the body craves what it needs, but what if it says it's still hungry? Well, Timothy has got about a trillion cells in his body, so we imagine that this is a cell, okay. and it's hungry. Right. A trillion of them he's got to feed every day, giving all the nutrients that he wants. Okay. And so we say to Timothy, here's a snack, Timothy. What would you like? Would you like a chocolate biscuit, or would you like an apple? Now, Timothy knows he should eat the apple. His mother has said he should eat the apple. Mm. His brain is saying, go for the biscuits. Yeah. Timothy and Kenita say, <laughs> go for the biscuits. Everybody likes <laughs> a chocolate biscuit. And the problem is this, is that chocolate biscuit is full of sugar. We've got this, this uh, is a model of sugar, OK? OK. And we need this to feed our brains. Chocolate biscuits are full of sugar. And when you eat them, the sugar is very quickly absorbed. Mm. How do you do that? Well, this is Timothy's pancreas. Okay. Okay. And in the pancreas is insulin. And insulin is released from Timothy's pancreas to click onto the sugar to get it into his cell. You can't get this stuff, glucose, mm. into your cells without insulin. Okay. And the problem that Timothy's done, he's munched up his chocolate biscuits. Mm. He's got all the sugar going through his system. His pancreas is making all this <laughs> insulin. Yeah. And when it's finished doing its job, he's still got insulin over. Uh -uh. Because the, there's a lag between eating the chocolate biscuit and pumping out the insulin. Okay. So the insulin is beginning to suck out the important glucose in his blood. And he is feeling he's going to die again with hunger because he's made to hung be hungry by the insulin. Mm. So he wants more. So what should he do? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. What should he do? Well, Mother says, eat the apple. Mm. And he doesn't want to eat the apple because his brain tells him to eat this. So yeah. we need to eat with knowledge and not with knowing we're hungry. And the apple has the glucose put in a matrix of fibre. And when you eat this, it doesn't just suddenly dissolve. The body's got to pull it apart. <clears throat> and there, oh, there's some glucose. Fibre. <clears throat> There's some glucose, and it's a slow release mechanism okay. so that the pancreas, when it produces its insulin, it keeps up and it perfectly puts it into the cells and it doesn't give them a sugar rush. Okay. So that is why people are asked to eat apples, mm -hmm. fruit, vegetables, coloured stuff, not sugar. Okay. And if we <laughs> manage to have our sugar in fresh fruits and vegetables, then we're not going to get that sugar rush and not get that hunger craving. OK. How do we know when to stop eating then? When do we know when to stop eating the apples? <laughs> exactly. Well, when you eat this, it takes quite a while to chew mm. and it takes a while for the stomach to deal with it. It gives you the sugar slowly and you know that you're not going to eat 10 or 20 of these. Mm. This is quick to eat. Mm -hmm. You keep on munching it, you get the sugar rush, you keep on being hungry. And you never know when to stop eating. We need to take our clues from the natural fruit and vegetables. Okay. Manufacturers are interested in selling biscuits for a profit. We should be interested in eating food for health. OK. So when do we know when to stop eating the healthy food, at least? Is it when because we get full? Can, or? Yeah, when you get full. And I went to a beautiful seminar with a lady who said, eat three quarters full. We're used to eating everything on the plate, especially mm. when it's a free thing and you think, well, I better eat all the food I can because it's free. Mm. We need to think, we don't need all that food. Eat handful portions. Don't fill your plate too full. If you see a lot of food on your plate, you're probably going to eat it. Mm. So well, I would suggest that people 
plan ahead, know what foods they're going to eat and how much they're going to eat and get conditioned to eat the right amount of food at the right time, at the right pace. Don't okay. rush your food. Now, I know that everyone is thinking, and so am I, do we have to give up the sweet treats? Can we have sweet <laughs> treats have still? Have the naughty treats. Absolutely you can. <laughs> food is a thing we love to do together, mm. treats and things. And the problem is that once you start eating these biscuits, People can eat a whole packet. I'm sure you've got friends who do that. I'm sure you've probably <laughs> friends, got yeah. friends. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I've got lots of friends who do that. <laughs> and it's hard to stop because mm. of this insulin pumping through your system. So again, if you eat with knowledge and know that if you just have a small amount, and you know that when you eat a piece of chocolate, it's that melty feeling in your mouth, that beautiful feeling. And once you've had that, you want that feeling in your mouth again. Mm -hmm. It's not once you swallowed it, it's over. <laughs> you want to keep on eating it. Mm. So if you cut up things into small chunks, and eat them and savour them and enjoy that and say, well, I'm going to have two blocks, two squares, not mm. <laughs> two squares, and eat it slowly. Yeah. Then you're going to enjoy the sweet treat without having too much. OK, Dr Rodney Ford, always good to have you on the programme. As part of your series, Every Mouthful Matters. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. For more information, have a look at the energy effect.